7 Ways to Avoid the Hedonic Treadmill and Find Lasting Happiness Have you ever achieved a major goal only to find yourself feeling empty after a while? Or have you ever gone on a shopping spree that makes you feel super happy on the day but indifferent on the next? Sounds familiar? Then it seems you've experienced the hedonic treadmill. What's that and why does it cut my happiness short, you ask? That's what I'm here to answer. Hi, this is Joy from developgoodhabits.com and I want to show you how you can escape from hedonic treadmill and enjoy long-lasting happiness. It was 1971 when researchers Brickman and Campbell first described hedonic treadmill, or hedonic adaptation, as a concept that dictates people's tendency to remain at a baseline level of happiness, regardless of any external events or changes in their life. Simply put, no matter how good or bad something makes you feel, you'll eventually return to your original emotional state. For instance, even though we believe getting married, buying a new house, or getting a job promotion would permanently increase our happiness, after a while we just feel normal. So what's the takeaway? Major positives or negative events have very little influence on your long-term happiness. The good and bad things will pass and you'll go back to your happiness set point. Even the material possessions you used to yearn for lose their sparkle after some time, right? Like, remember that smartphone you spent months waiting for? After a while, it became just like your old phone, didn't it? A brand new smartphone is just an everyday item. So why pursue happiness if it's so fickle? We'll just go back to neutral anyway. After a bit more research, psychologist Ed Diner tells us, happiness is a process, not a destination point. Being happy is enjoying the present moment, rather than looking towards the future. That's how you settle your happiness set point to change positively over time. Even if you return to a previous point, it's positive instead of neutral. So while pretty much everyone experiences hedonic treadmill, we can learn to recognize its signs and build simple habits that will help us reduce its power over us. Then what are those habits? Here are seven ways to change your life and reach long-lasting happiness. 1. Develop your gratitude habit. Gratitude promotes happiness, getting rid of resentment and despair. You can educate yourself to become more grateful with a gratitude exercise. Every night, write down a few things you feel thankful for. That's it. Easy, right? Bad days and frustrating moments are inevitable. Life is still full of great things though. Take your nightly exercise as an instant to embrace the good in your life. This positive thinking has a cumulative effect that will make you realize what is truly important. Practicing gratitude is a small and sustainable habit to help you find value in everything you are and have. Number 2. Practice daily mindfulness. Mindfulness allows you to live in the moment and appreciate the small things around you that would otherwise go unnoticed. Engaging in daily mindfulness can help you relax and change the way you feel about your experiences, especially the stressful ones, by taking a mind-body-based approach. That means you'll become more balanced, in harmony with a relatively stable level of happiness without ups and downs. 3. Practice loving-kindness meditation. Loving-kindness meditation increases the love you have in your heart, not only for other people, but also for yourself. This type of meditation has many variations, but they all revolve around the fact that when you're able to help other people, you're generally happier and have a greater sense of well-being. Regardless of how you choose to incorporate it into your routine, this compassionate form of meditation gets rid of negative feelings and replaces them with positive ones, transforming the way you approach life. 4. Develop a more optimistic nature. Optimism and happiness are two ideas that work side by side. You're not naturally optimistic? Don't worry, that's something you can learn. Research shows that happy and unhappy people experience the same amount of adversities on average throughout their lives. However, while optimists encourage themselves to make positive changes to oppose the negative events they experience, pessimists dwell on the problem without doing anything. Moreover, the more you expect great things, the more you'll come across them. So hope for the best, and believe that everything will be okay. If you can convince yourself of this, it'll become a self-fulfilling prophecy. 
Use positive affirmations to generate the optimism you need to live a happy life. 5. Accept your emotions, whether they are positive or negative. Emotional avoidance can lead to many psychological problems. You may think that dodging negative emotions is a reasonable and smart thing to do. After all, they come from bad things that we want to forget, don't they? Avoidance provides momentary relief. In the long run, putting off a problem only makes it bigger and you'll end up even more hurt. Then, accept that negative emotions are a natural part of life. You can't avoid them forever, and you shouldn't. Be brave to face life directly and openly. 6. Set meaningful goals. Science tells us that working with a purpose in mind makes people feel fulfilled, which then increases goal-directed behaviors. It's a vicious cycle. Having positive emotions ignites an attitude that brings one closer to their targets. If you set meaningful goals and start working on them, you'll experience an increase in your well-being that will lead to further action and progress towards happiness. Here's the catch. If your objective isn't important enough, you'll find yourself putting it off. Well, it doesn't mean much, so why do it anyway? Remember that a meaningful target isn't a task you have to do. It involves passion. It's something you want to achieve. Number seven, put more effort into your relationships. Nothing cures unhappiness like true close friends. One study found that those who are over 70 and have strong networks of friends tend to live much longer. This doesn't mean that you can't live alone or be independent. It simply means that having a support system available at any age is beneficial to your health. Our individualistic society lacks sufficient real social connections. Some experts believe this is a leading factor in today's epidemic levels of depression. In order to have support through difficult times, you need strong friendships and social ties. Well, achieving long-term happiness is easier said than done, isn't it? But it is very much possible. Accept that the great things in life have nothing to do with material possessions. Instead, happiness comes from meaningful work, great social networks, and recognizing what you already have. If you want to get rid of your hedonic treadmill, why not try a couple of the habits I mentioned? Let's find that long-lasting happiness starting today. How has the hedonic treadmill affected your life? How do you deal with it? Share your tips and habits with us in the comments below and take a look at our website for more resources. You can find the link in the description box. Our channel is here to help you develop a better life, one habit at a time. Then subscribe for more inspiring videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time.